वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल सी हाउ वी कैन टेक कॉन्टैक्ट्स फॉर मोबाइल एंड हाउ वी कैन सेलेक्ट ए पर्टिकुलर नंबर एंड गेट इट जूम्ड व्यू गेट ए गेट ए जूम्ड व्यू लेट्स सी आई विल टेक name mobile number i'm uh, i'm preparing this from scratch uh we'll take these are the names these are the names of the persons in let's say in my uh, mobile contacts and these are the these are their telephone numbers okay we have to first go to developer <coughs> see developer is visible as a tab here it may not be visible in some systems if it is not visible in your system then go to file options customize ribbon see developer is already checked here if it is not seen in your system then it must be looking like this so check it then click on okay then it will appear then from there from any place go into developer from developer under developer select visual basic here just say insert user form okay uh how uh, you can stretch this take it like this up to this size then this happens to be a list box take a list box okay then take to this is a text box so to copy this again here what you have to do is just keep the control key pressed and drag it one becomes two okay so align left alignment is not proper format align left done okay i'll have increased the size i'll bring it here okay format left then i will <coughs> because here what you see here these names and mobile numbers they appear here and the moment you select a particular person suppose this person you select in this uh, in this list box when you select a particular person the name his name should appear here and his mobile number should appear here uh, and the size with a zoom size let's see okay first uh, let's go to this what is the name of the sheet 1 sheet 1 b and c b2 
to bring those details here, select this, select this. And when you select this, this is list box. The properties, list box properties have come. Go to this, just say row, row source. You want this list box to be populated with these figures. Sheet one, exclamatory mark, B2, from B2 to C15, let's say. Okay, go to the top, column count, only one is taken by default, say column count 2, see, name has come, mobile number has come. Then, from there, the name should, the moment you select a particular person, his name should go to this, this is text box 1. And this is text box 2. How do you do that? Text box 1 dot value is equal to application worksheet function VLOOKUP. You have to do VLOOKUP here. Me dot list box dot value comma. Mm, what is the table? Table should be described here. You should sheet 1, worksheets, of all the worksheets, we are concerned with worksheet 1 and what is the range? We are concerned with B2 to C15. We have described the table where the data is lying. We want information from the second column. See, this is the first column, this is the second column. In text box, okay, okay, okay. We text box, we need, a, we'll, we'll change this to text box too because we are, here we are trying to get a mobile number. So I made it into text box too. So we need a information from column two. Zero is for exact number, not approximate number. Then we will do text box one for one also is equal to me dot list box one dot value. Whatever we choose in list box one will appear in text box one. And whatever we choose in list box one as name, the number which is against the name will be which is in the second column will be visible in text box 2, we will put a user form 1, the moment you click on this, I will call this as show form. The moment you click C, C is visible here and the telephone number, so-called telephone number is visible here. Okay. Now, let's make it a little bit beautiful. Technically, the work is done, but let's make it a little bit beautiful. Use some color for all these boxes also. can take a different color also. Here, I want uh, the font to be little bit bigger. Font, I'll take Times New Roman uh, 11, okay, yes, 11, okay. Then, here, font times bold can I take 28 f5 see
escape. We'll put a small escape button also here. <coughs> we'll, it, we'll call it escape. Under this, you have to write unload me for any escape button. For to quit the, and unload this form, we should have a button here. See, even this should be same, given the same color or maybe a darker color. See, the moment I click on this, it is, the form is unloaded. See, the form is unloaded. But can you unload the form with escape, with by hitting escape on your keyboard? I am hitting escape on my keyboard, it is not getting unloaded. For that purpose, what you have to do is select this. And the moment you select this, it, this is command button 1. So you get the properties of the command button 1. Okay, here what you have to say is cancel is equal to true. Enough. Now, F5, I am hitting on this, F5. Instead of clicking on this, I am pressing escape on the keyboard. It goes off. See, like this. Um, it goes off like this. So, this is, you want to dial somebody, choose his number, then there is no confusion with small letters. The, you, you get a uh, zoomed value, values. So, you can use this. You can give colors to these also. You can, to, to look beautiful, you can increase the size also. So that, yes, it looks like this now. It covers everything. Uh, the it covers the Excel sheet. The user form covers the Excel sheet. Maybe you can increase width and height a bit more. It will look like this. I have taken only mobile number. You can take email ID also. You can take address also. You can take some other details of the person. This way, this is when you have hundreds of addresses, contact numbers in your mobile and you can keep them in an, in an alphabet, alphabetical manner here and, and it will be easy to check somebody's number or name. Thanks for watching. If you like this simple program, click on like and share this video with your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching.